Theresa May says all sides of the Brexit negotiations are now ready to move on to the next stage of talks, but there are still many obstacles to the UK expected coming up. Artie's Anastasia Chirkiner explains. Certainly the Brexit uh, uh, deadline is looming, time is ticking, and what we've seen so far is that these Brexit negotiations have been anything but very simple, especially maybe uh, according to those who expected things to move forward much quicker. We've seen uh, Theresa May and European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker basically pat themselves on the backs for uh, breaking through with this first round of discussions when it comes to the issue of Irish borders. Now they're looking forward to moving on to issues such as trade. Uh, however, we have seen the European Council President Donald Tusk come out and say that there are going to be really some uh, different harsh realities. He's talked about uh, specifically the transition period that the UK has put forward, saying that Britain wants this two-year transition period, and Tusk has said that uh, this is going to come along with some pretty serious conditions. He has said that not only will decisions be made without the UK in this time, but he's also said that the UK is going to have to respect EU laws in that time, including new laws, including uh, uh, budgetary uh, commitments, as well as judiciary oversight. Let's take a listen. Clearly, within the transition period following the UK's withdrawal, EU decision-making will continue among the 27 member states without the UK. All of what I have said seems to be the only reasonable solution. Well, uh, following these latest developments, uh, reaction including uh, some negative have come from the likes of uh, former UKIP leader, leader and Brexit pioneer Nigel Farage, who has basically described the way things have been going as sort of an embarrassment. So uh, let's stay tuned to see how these negotiations will now continue to move forward.